just started we just have a word or phrase. Trampoline. This man said trampoline. 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 Well, uh, makes me think of vandalism. Uh, <laughs> because it's uh, suburban. That's what you do in the suburbs. Um, Cape in School uh, was a school in my hometown that uh, I guess the town abandoned. Uh, in the fourth grade, they were just like, yeah, we've got too many schools in Denham, so let's consolidate. And I was at Cape in. And uh, so they just, they, they, uh, they shut it down. Uh, so it was just kind of this um, wasteland of, of a public school. It was just empty. And uh, so what you would then do as a, as a young adult, a young teen, is you throw rocks at the windows and drink beer uh, in the woods. <laughs> Uh, and um, and uh, so one night we did, and um, this is for you, Jeff. Uh, so with, um, the cops come as they always do, and I, how are they? With, we're so far away from houses, and it's just like eight kids drinking bud cans. <laughs> well, I guess we're we'll glass breaking, and people go, "What's the problem?" Yeah. So, uh, uh, so there, I just saw the you know, uh, my own crime. So the cops come, <laughs> and uh, of course. Of course I'm the only one who got caught. We all ran, but uh, my legs were the weakest. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, we had an abandoned school where I grew up uh, as well, right, right, right down the road, and um, I broke into that at a, at a younger race. There's no alcohol involved. And um, Loser. There was this moment uh, when a, a, guy, a colleague, a friend of mine, a colleague, did, um, something I thought like, <laughs> we were probably 10 at the time. 10! 10 year old colleague. Yeah. I <laughs> For the next three years of my life, this was the funniest thing I'd ever seen. He, we break in and we're like in the bathroom of, of, of uh, the, the, the first floor, and he reaches down and like they just like completely abandoned the school, so there was still like rolls of toilet paper. So he grabs the rolls of toilet paper, puts them here as if uh, to affect breasts, and says, "Hey, I have tits." I, uh, I went to a, there was an abandoned abandoned mansion in, in where I grew up uh, in, in this really strange part of town. Like it really feels like a Scooby Doo uh, kind of a cartoon <laughs> thing. Like, it was an abandoned mansion. They I really called it the, mur the murder house, the ghost house. And we went there, and it was the creepiest thing in the world because they had it was like they had balloons hanging in the basement. And then we went we went in it with a flashlight, and there was a mural of a monkey eating a heart in, in the garden room. And then like all these books that were left there, and like notes in the books. And, and then a car chased us, and I remember I lit toilet paper on fire <laughs> and threw it at them. Like, like I bolted up, I was like, what are we going to do? They're chasing us. And I was like, I lit it on fire with matches and threw it on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was nine years old. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now I was 16, but it was a lot of fun. Um, there, that's a crazy mural. Yeah, and it was. It was just that. It might have been a peach, but it was too red. <laughs> <laughs> the electrician who came to help make my house not burn down had apparently um, worked on the home to homeowners before. And uh, there was apparently some serious homoerotic art painted full uh, mural size in the, in the master bathroom. And um, we were doing a, a major remodel on this room last year, and I was so excited to see what was behind these giant mirrors that had been put up to cover up this crazy homoerotic art that the electrician was like, Oh, yeah, it was, uh, oh. I mean, oh, like he got red in the face, he couldn't talk about it, it clearly disturbed him, he got weird coming out of my mouth. So I'm like, standing outside, like the contractors are in there about to bust out the mirrors. There was nothing there. Uh, or was there? There was there. <laughs> BMF not picking up anything. Nothing? No, BMF has got nothing. Well, you, Troy. I don't have any EMF. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, are you getting anything up here? You're the psychic. Um. We're all right. <laughs> I don't get it, man. This room's supposed to be a hot spot. It's supposed to be a hot spot. That's why I brought Troy. Look, I know you had psychic block for a while, but I think he's got to get back in the mix, man. I read your book, man. I read everything you wrote. Oh, yeah? The best. Yeah. Uh, I got Sharpie. I mean, autographs. <laughs> I'm not. I don't. I don't. I don't <sighs> <laughs> oh, this is what he did at Carbondale Station, man. That's right. Back in '84. Yeah, Station House Ghost. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. You said that Carbondale Ghost is the most erotic ghost you've ever seen. <laughs> Nothing? 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Listen, we paid you five hundred dollars so we could lose his virginity to a ghost. That's right. <laughs> that way you put up most of the cash so we can watch. So I'm sick of telling him just all about my conquest. I need him to have some of his own. I want to have sex with the ghost. You're gonna make it happen. All right, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Give me another thousand. Oh, oh, man. Man. What is this, Vegas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're in Las Vegas. <laughs> Yes, I don't know. <laughs> Is it okay, hundreds? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Do we have to do ghost cane? What's that? Ghost cocaine? <laughs> no, not at all. Thank God, I got my drugs. One thing next week. life drawing class. gonna come and I didn't think that okay. So you just came here in the hopes that no one would show up? I needed the money, yeah I thought no one was gonna show up, but I need the money, so you certainly did wear a lot of layers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really comfortable with myself, so this was kinda, you know, a step off the ledge, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> are you finishing up from last week? Yes, these grapes are taking me a lifetime. Orbs were always your bugaboo. <laughs> <laughs> right here I am. Would you like us to call you subject or would you like to share your name? <laughs> my, my name is Terence. Terence. Do you want me to strike an athletic pose, or just, just kind of stand here and let it all hang out? <laughs> Terrence, you seem upset. I'm just not very comfortable with myself and my body. Nobody ever told me I was pretty <laughs> in my life, and I believed them. So you believed the silence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, so this was kind of a, a, a double-edged sword thing, you know? Sure. Maybe triple-edged. Yeah. Needed the money, wanted to get out there a little bit, and hey, maybe if I put it all on the line, you guys won't snicker, laugh, and point. Maybe. <laughs> it is just the beginning of class. <laughs> I hadn't expected this many skin tags, I will say. <laughs> Just more orbs for me to attack. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I've had them since birth. It's a, it's a defect. It's a gr it's not it's no, not no, it's, it's just nurture. It's, it's nature. It's nature. It's not nurture. I wouldn't call it a defect. Just it just is. <laughs> I haven't seen a chin that soft in quite a long time. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> that was more for Lydia, but no problem. 
Your left hip is prominently higher than your right. Yeah, I got dropped. <laughs> <laughs> and those hands, well, they can, they can just be hands. Yeah, they were the last thing to come out when I was being burned, so they got stretched. <laughs> you do have what is commonly referred to as forceps face. Yeah. They come in and pull. Yeah, it was like, I, it was weird, like I came out like I was going face first down a slide, and then like, and then just the hands, the hands, yes. the hands. <laughs> yeah, well, well, it's this, an innate yeah. grabbing ability that we all have. Yeah. Well, I think you're doing a great job, Terrence. Thanks. I don't know if you should encourage him. <laughs> Look, he's, he's got a weak spine. Yeah. Everything's out of proportion. It's a bifida. <laughs> <laughs> Even his aura is just dull. Mm. Well, he's a classic pallid. I'm not familiar. A pallid? Pallid, meaning almost without blood. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I, mean, I would stick out the front drain and um, I'll just kind of do all the, the, the drains in the house. But um, I should, I'll be down in about a half hour. Okay. <laughs> I just want to let you know I worked here five years ago. Why are you doing the thing with the flashlight under your face? <laughs> it's two in the afternoon. <laughs> you weren't here five years ago, I was. What happened five years ago? Let me ask you something. Uh -huh. You ever hear a plumber too scared to submit a bill afterwards? <laughs> I have, certainly have not. That was me. <laughs> All 250 pounds, Vietnam fed of me. Scared you shit. lost a lot of weight. <laughs> you actually, yeah, it's, uh, anyway, <laughs> here's the thing. I thought it was a childless couple that I was coming to sleep the dreams oh, for. And they actually had like a ghost baby. A whole ghost orphanage. What? <laughs> In this house? In this very house! Where did they put all the cribs? If There's you, if you pulled up that carpet, you would see so many ghost baby footprints. I'm, a, I'm calling your bluff, mister. I don't know. <laughs> Little one, okay, tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll do some, I'll, I'll, I don't, I, I know you're busy. I'll sneak out the kitchen and... Well, now all I want to do is pull up this carpet and see the ghost <laughs> baby footprints. Oh, hey, Jonathan, tennis practice was fantastic. Oh, who's this little ruffian? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the plumber. Oh, is that what he is? <laughs> this, is this is Michael, he's my companion. Hello. I, Pleasure please, to meet you. Please. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta meet him all the way. Oh, <laughs> enchanté, uh, as the French said. Did you know that a parrot... Wait, they're come back. <laughs> Oh, a ghost story. I love a good test. I mean, see, some people get it. Oh, no. Some people get it. They say a fucking joke. Oh, is he from medieval times or some such as a dinner theater? Where's the cameras? I love it. <laughs> he was telling He was telling Oh, me. what was he saying? Oh, uh, you're gonna make a joke on it. I'll just go snake your drains and submit the Oh, no, I'm sorry. Good luck you... with the ghost orphanages, you two frogs. Oh, I love baby ghosts. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, keep going. Well, you know why there are ghosts? Because <laughs> they're dead. <laughs> <laughs> the shopper of the two. Oh. But you know how they died? In a terrible fashion. <laughs> In a fire? Of loneliness. Oh, I love this game. Yeah. <laughs> keep going. A fire of loneliness in this very house. Oh my god, you struck a chord with me. Mommy and Thank daddy you. never loved me. I get it. This guy's good. Oh, I'm just saying, you know your laundry room? I installed that hookup for the washer and the gas fittings to the dryer. I like one on top of the other. I think it takes up too much space. Right, 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 I could stack them. But listen. But if I stack them, you know what you'd find with a dryer now, six? More baby ghosts. <laughs> See, you kind of 
kind of foreshadow it when you go to the. Bob, <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving. Last. Beaumont. 
Yes, Mr. Worthington. Just saying your name. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the acknowledgement, Mr. Beaumont. Mrs. Beaumont. Bit of a pause there. <laughs> it's the Castiel O'Connell Beaumont. Are you plotting to kill us? What's going on behind the doors? You're acting highly unusual. Yeah. I'm just a little upset about what happened at the house. Well, I don't see why. Keep your upsetment on the other side of the door. <laughs> That's why we don't have a window in it. <laughs> I think I've said too much. I'm just a little out of sorts, and I forget that people's married names are changing over so quickly. Just so we're sure, you're not plotting to kill us in our sleep or during our love making. <sighs> Shit, honey, the ghosts are in the drawing room again. <laughs> <laughs> Tell him to go home! Oh, just gonna let him finish tea. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to kill us during the marital congress that we so. <laughs> A good butler does not harbor those thoughts for his female employer. Your unfinished business is that your butler killed you. There, go home! Hold on, I think that will be quite enough. <laughs> Shall I set up your cribbage table? Oh, please, and make sure to check the fourth leg. It's rather loose. <sighs> I'll check that fourth leg. I think it's daylight savings time. They think they're an hour behind. That's why it's <laughs> taking so long. Oh. <laughs> Doc, you're not, you're not going to believe this. I, I, I really appreciate you <coughs> hearing me out on this and, and bringing your nurse in. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, of course. No, no, I, I know how it works. It's just, um, do, it's, do you want him to leave? No, no, no. I know you have to have somebody in, uh, present in the room, a secondary person, when, when you see the genitals of a man. Yeah. Uh, I know how it works. <laughs> well, I, I don't have to. It's just for you, for your comfort. If you'd like a male in the room, then I'm, I'm happy to have one here. But I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable with males. I just, I just, I, I, I just, I, I saw things and they did things that night, and I don't know where they ended and I began. I, I think I fucked a ghost. Don't worry, your friends are dead. You're the hottest ghost I've ever seen. You're the first ghost I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, I can see your heart beating. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I learned it. I learned it by watching True Way. Is there room for one more? <laughs> sure! That was your ruse all along. Yeah, he wanted to die so he could be the one to take your virginity. <laughs> See you, <ya>, Troy. <laughs> so, there I was, in the middle of this spectral sandwich, not knowing what to do. And I just gave into it. There was ectoplasm, I think it was ectoplasm everywhere. I let loose a lot of liquids, and I just think that I need to know if I have. Go ahead, drop your hands. Rodney? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I put on a lot of layers. <laughs> Oh, were you going to do some uh, new modeling later? Yeah, but Grover's Dale High. I thought that place was closed. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Father is. He took 
a job. He said he was just going to go snake a drink. I, I, I know that. And then he's going to come back here. Charles, to Charles, I know that. I wrote a little note in his lunch that I packed for him. And I wrote, it was a little cartoon I drew of us having dinner as a family. Was I so smiling? You were all smiles. Your smile was so big it burst out of your round head. I like when you draw me that way. Well, He's always home by 5.30. I know! He was only snaking the drain. Stop repeating the same thing. I know. You're the man of the house now. <laughs> what does that mean? It means you have to go fix mommy a drink. <laughs> oh, I'm home. Oh! Hey! Sit down and forget what we just said. Oh. <laughs> Did you snake the drain? Yeah. What is snaking a drain? Let me tell you something. Oh, no. <laughs> it wasn't so much the elbow grease that's required. It was the homeowners. You, we didn't need to buy fluorescent bulbs if you're going to do that every time you're going to tell a story. <laughs> what were they like? Did they not pay the bill? Charles, sit down like a I can't. Like I'm a scared. human boy. He's covered in what might be ectoplasm. <laughs> I'm sorry. We could have dinner. We can just relax. I want to hear about the homeowners. Ever seen a, a graveyard of children your age or younger? What do you mean? He's coming to be up all night in a pool of his own urine. All they wanted to do was laugh. Cackle. Why would they laugh? Because they were that deranged. That's crazy. They should be scared of baby orphans. That's what I told them. <laughs> And then what? I just snaked the drains and left. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get paid this time? I was too scared. <laughs> Woo! Wow. Yeah.